citizens of our Brontif, land of a thousand sufferings, city of a thousand deaths, hamlet of a thousand hams. I am Melchior the Loquacious. Join me and the Crimson Scimitar in a fight for our very lives. Once again, the undead menace Clathgar, the menacing, has risen. Again! Join us as we fight for our very way of life! Huzzah! Can you believe that guy? And the rest of these idiots? You know he nicknamed himself, right? No, really? Yeah, I heard that too. Every month, at the same time, some horror or another comes streaming out of the hell mouth and these fools go charging in. I know I've only been here a few weeks, but let's be fair, we do live here. Yeah, but not by choice. I mean, where are the jobs in this economy? Mostly picking up after dead heroes. <laughs> heroes. <laughs> well, all it takes to be a hero these days is a sword bought at a 300% markup. <laughs> Should have gone into smithing. My grandmother always said, own a restaurant or a smithy. People gotta eat, people gotta get killed. <laughs> Real poet, you grand. You can't farm anymore. Not since the invasion of those sentient watermelons. Right? What was that about? When good luck telling anyone that your farm has been taken over by goblins or orcs or some such nonsense, these heroes are more likely to stab you. To be fair, there was a rash of changeling farmers luring heroes to their ultimate doom. Ultimate is a strong word. They can afford to get resurrected, like, often enough that they have to abbreviate it. I hate the word res so much. They have a genuine miracle performed on them on a regular basis and they can't be bothered to say the whole thing. Do you remember that kid? The, the one, one with the, the book? book? One with that creepy book. He killed a dozen people before somebody finally stopped him. Who talks to a kid? At midnight? In the forest? Filled with creatures from the abyssal plane? But while he's carrying a book with a movie title on the cover! Only thing I say to a kid out that late is where are your parents? <laughs> that would be even worse. He'd say something like, They've been dead ever since I ate their souls. Or something. I saw that one this morning. Registry with the city. What's her name? You'll never guess. It's too good. Just tell us. Hey, guess. Blake. <laughs> Just no. She, she did not tell the city watch their name was Blake Outlaw. Oh, she did indeed. <laughs> Might as well call herself Vinny the Villain. Mm -mm. Vinny the villain came in three months ago, died an hour later, got turned into a cow by one of those changing farmers, then accidentally stabbed by one of the dark elves. Oh, mm, mm, mm. You're not supposed to call them that anymore. They prefer elves of the night now. Well, I want to be called a daughter of the dirt, but it ain't gonna happen. Assassinated. What the hell's the difference? Money. It's like the difference between crazy and eccentric. Hmm. Or getting a cure for green scale. Hmm. But isn't anyone going to do anything? I mean, she took her money pouch and the tip jar. Tip jar? Tip jar. <laughs> what do we do with the body? Go through her pockets and look for loose change? We who? I'm going home. Yeah, I'm out too. This is too weird even for this town. 
The wife won't let me inside the protection circle if I get back too late. Oh. <laughs> well, be safe, guys. If you get attacked, don't forget to die loud. <laughs> what? So you can come save me? <laughs> Hell no. Tells us to take the other path. <laughs>